Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a quick review of two things. There are uh, what I would call uh, things you should have for emergencies. The first thing being just a cheap crank flashlight. And this one is the Energizer one. They're on Amazon, they're, they're fairly cheap. And uh, I'll probably buy another couple of these and uh, give them to my uh, family to have in their cars and stuff like this. I'm probably gonna buy another two, one for my car to have all times, one for my bag, and then one uh, for my uh, house. So it doesn't get much more complicated. This, this one is a uh, little clip. The light it produces is pretty good. I mean, if you're expecting like stream light or surefire like brightness, that's not what these are for. This is purely to give you illumination in the uh, dark. Uh, the crank is right here. It's kind of fragile from what I see, but as long as you're careful and I mean, not gonna go crazy with it, you know, that's all you really need to do like that. It, it should last. Um, so happy with this. Uh, Goodbye. And the second thing, a little more expensive, but I, th I used to have one of these until uh, batteries went out and crank broke and the antenna broke. And that is a little crank radio. This is the uh, Eaton one, or Eton. Uh, it has a flashlight. The light kind of produces kind of halo type ring. I'm not as big of a fan of that, but I didn't buy it for that. It does have AM, FM, and the weather band uh, seven uh, of the weather band uh, frequencies. Uh, it does have solar on the top. I don't know why, but it does. And the crank, which is nice, I would say, is real smooth, quiet, uh, and produces a uh, pretty good charge fairly fast. And what's nice about this model is that USB port. You can charge a cell phone or other similar device right off that, like a GPS for instance. It, it, I don't know how long it would take. I may do that one of these days, uh, do a little experiment, but it's better than nothing. Uh, and by the way, this is the FR160. This is the model. I like it, it's good to have. Uh, it does have a easily changeable battery right here. The one I used to have, which I forget who made it. I know it was a German company. They're no longer around. Its battery was not user serviceable and very expensive. Whereas this one, from what I've read, is quite easy. So both are kind of a must to have, especially if you live in areas where you have frequent power outages like I do, uh, or storm areas. Buy these people, spend a little money, be prepared.